Hello guys, we are already stepping into the third month of the year 2022. I hope you have all been fine. I hope your month, both the months, January and February also have been very good. And I hope you have continued planning your meals and are successful in following it. Welcome back to my channel, Living in Bengaluru. My name is Smita. And if you are new to my channel, please click on the subscribe button below. Now this video is in continuation with the last month, that is the February 2022 meal planning. If you're planning your monthly meal plan with me, I would suggest you to pause the video, get your planner and stationery to plan your monthly meal. Now, since you know that I plan my meal for the whole month and not on a weekly basis, of course, later on I divide it on a weekly basis, but in the beginning I planned for the whole month. Now we can get started with the points that we have jotted down in the last month itself. So shall we all get started? Here is my planner which I write my monthly plan. This is my master meal plan list. After I got a few feedbacks from my family, friends and my subscribers, I have done a few changes compared to the month of February. Now if you see the February month, this was the meal plan. These are the points to remember that I had asked you to write it down. For the month of February, I had written it down like this and many of you couldn't see there was too less space. I even didn't write the snack menu because things were not fitting in this small tiny boxes. So what I decided for this month is I have designed a meal plan like this. I have designed it using Canva. I'm going to write meal plans in this. I've made five columns and rows from Saturday to Friday since I start my meal plan on a Saturday. I thought. I'll start it on a Saturday instead of a Monday that's given here. So what I'm going to do with this is, okay, I need this as well. So I'll remove this. And then I go to the month of March monthly meal plan. This is the one that I am supposed to follow. So I will put, put this up here. Now this I may use it for shopping or any rough that you know that I think something can help me with the meal plan so after I finish this I will stick it at this corner and then I will fold this page this way so I can refer to this page anytime I want to refer so I thought now using this printout I've taken one printout for the month of March so every month I'll take if this month goes on well using this planner then I will continue with this for the coming planners. I prefer it to be in one book itself. Now this month, as I told you last month, I tried the theme of Kerala. This month I would try the theme of Karnataka. Though most of my recipes are South Indian and most of them are Karnataka recipes, but there are a huge number of recipes which I have no clue of. Like uh, recently one of my friend told me about uh, Methi Mudde, Mentya Mudde of North Karnataka. I don't know exactly which place has it come from but like this there are many many recipes which I haven't even heard of so let me see I will start with the monthly meal plan for the month of March I would suggest you to get your stationery your planner or whatever sheet you're planning your monthly meal plan as well as get your master list to check out and write what you can write for so to start with I'll start with a breakfast menu so first I'll write the dates if I go to the we are starting the first on Tuesday so March 1st is a Tuesday I'll write it with a pen so all the dates are done so next month we have starting from the 1st up to the 31st so let's get started with the breakfast for this month you can pause this video finish your breakfast for the whole month so start with tuesday and go on up to the 31st the breakfast for the whole month just the breakfast So with this we have completed the breakfast planning. I hope you all have written down your breakfast for the month. 
Now next going on to the lunch menu. So lunch I generally on Saturdays I will so with this we complete the breakfast menu so I hope all of you have completed the breakfast menu I generally write it in pencil I've told you because if there is any mistake I prefer erasing and writing rather than you know just striking off and writing it all again so here now with the breakfast menu we are done lunch menu now before I go on and start writing the lunch menu I would write for Saturdays I will write this generally I would complete all the leftovers in my refrigerator so when I do the meal weekly meal plan I will update these things on the Friday so I put the weekly meal plan in, in my Instagram handle please check my Instagram handle every week if you would like to refer to the meal plan of every week and the grocery list now after the lunch for the Saturday Sunday is always a new recipe for lunch so as I told you here I would like the theme for this month is the Karnataka meal plan. Now coming on to the lunch. In our house my lunch is basically rice. So we have rice and with that whether it is fish curry or any other non-veg curry or rasam, sambar, whatever with one type of vegetable and generally rice one kind of vegetable and one kind of non-veg and it's it's a mixture of either one of the curries so it'll be vegetable curry and a dry item of non-veg or a non-veg curry with a dry item of a vegetable so accordingly i will fill up the lunch menu you can pause the video and fill up your lunch so even i'll fill up my lunch so i will start writing here So this completes the lunch menu. Now after the lunch coming to the salads. Now if you don't know how to create a master list because I have a master list and I'm writing from this. If you don't know how to create a master list, I'll put the link in the description box below. I've made a video on this on how to create your master list according to your family's needs. So make sure you check the video and then you start, you have a master list and you start your meal planning. Now coming to the snacks, evening snacks, generally we have the evening snacks because my kids are very hungry by the time it's like 5, 5.30 they are very very hungry. Next thing is after lunch I will write down the snacks here. Next is the snack menu. So I will write S here and write the snack. Snack is going to be just simple because then after you can't have dinner otherwise. So I will just complete the snack, simple snack items. So I have completed my snack menu also. For the next month so i've made tried to make it easier as possible because next month is going to be the exam time here i think during exam time it's too much for us also to do so many different things so i have reduced and made it more easier for this month and gone a little lighter on the menu and another thing is um, generally on friday we are eating veg so Friday's menu is all veg. Next, starting with the dinner menu. So I'll start writing my dinner. Dinner is going to be mostly millet and a few things here and there with the rice menu also sometimes. So let's start writing the din dinner menu. So finally, this is the din dinner menu. With this, I've completed everything. The breakfast, lunch, snack and dinner. So this is the final monthly meal plan for the month of March. So using this I will start writing the weekly meal plan. As I have already mentioned in the last month that I write it on the fridge magnet with magnetic board and I will upload it on Instagram every week. So make sure that you check out my Instagram handle. I will put the Instagram handle in the description box below. Make sure that you check it. So every week you will find the updated meal plan for the week. So as you know usually i write this veg 1 veg 2 veg 3 depending on what is available for the week so with this we are done guys i hope all of you enjoyed this video please hit the like button make sure to hit the subscribe button below and please do like the video